What's up you guys? It's your girl Judy here with my life as Kikai. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup of first impressions using the OXX Studio Kmart makeup. So if you've been wondering what that whole line is about, if it's any good, well, we're gonna find out today. You're gonna find out with me because I have got a whole stack of makeup here that I'm going to be trying out today. Before I go any further, guys, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, all that fun stuff. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so now that I've got all that out of the packaging, <laughs> I should have done that one before. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I got a hydrating studio primer, um, and I also got an illuminator, which is probably used for more like um, a liquid highlight at the high tops of your cheeks, but the foundation here, it says it's a long wear matte foundation, and I want a little bit more luminosity today, because I'm kind of like really getting into that look. So I'm going to apply some of this hydrating studio primer, and then go in with some of the illuminator. And hopefully that doesn't emphasize all my pores. Okay, so I like the fact that this is in a pump. Okay, this is really smooth. This primer is really super smooth. It feels like silk. My skin feels like baby soft. I'm not even joking. And it, <laughs> let's be real here. My skin hasn't been baby soft for a whole lot of years. <laughs> okay, we're off to a good start. I'm liking that. It feels really nice. It's not sticky or anything, so I'm hoping that it actually extends the wear of my makeup. But, um, well, I just have to try that out another time where I'm going to be wearing this makeup for the whole day. It feels um, a little bit oily, so if you have oily skin, you might not like this. But I tend to have a little bit of combination skin, so we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so the first one's a go. I'm going to go in with a liquid illuminator. I'm not sure how this will be like under the foundation, but I do like the fact that it's in a pump. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, it feels a little... Can you see that? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see how that wears under my makeup. Okay, so I'm glad that it doesn't have huge flecks of glitter in it. It has tiny little micro flecks of some sort of silky sheen. <laughs> I won't apply that here because I do have a fair bit of texture between my eyebrows. But I'm going to apply it everywhere else. I actually like the feel of that. I actually didn't have super high expectations for this makeup because I mean like cheap Kmart makeup, what could possibly be in these products that makes them warrantable to sell so cheaply. But we're off to a good start, so we'll see how I go with the rest of the makeup. I'm gonna do eyes first because I don't know how much fallout will be in the eyeshadows that I've got. So I'm gonna do eyes first. Oh, before eyes, I'm gonna do brows. So I got the brow pot. They had other brow products. They had eyebrow palettes and things like that. But I don't need a whole lot for my eyebrows as you can see. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go in very lightly with this brow pot. I think I got a shade that's a little bit light for me, um, but I don't need a whole lot for my brows, so that's Okay, I think this was like a middle shade. There was a lighter one and then a one darker one And this was the shade in the middle and it's probably still a little bit light for me I think that's the only thing I do have to say when I was checking out the range is that the shade range Is not extensive the shade range kind of sucks and that seems to be a problem with a whole lot of brands at the moment Although a lot of brands are getting better but I guess they were just trying to cover their bases by having one a lot lighter than this, having this as the middle one, and then having a super dark one, which was almost black. So I think they were just trying to cover three bases, like medium and dark, I guess. <laughs> Being Kmart makeup and selling them for like $4, $2, $6 each product, I guess they don't really want to come out with 50 different shades, if you know what I mean. Just gonna lightly fill in my brows here. I really don't need a whole lot. I know this shade is a little bit light for me, but it's actually not that bad. All right, that'll do. So moving right along with eyes here, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the concealer that I got just to prime my eyes. Okay, so that's a little bit patchy, but we will set that with some powder. OXX Studio Finish. I got the white one because I wasn't sure what sort of finish it had come up with. <laughs> Very powdery. 
So I got this eyeshadow quad. There was a cooler toned one, a neutral one, and this one. And I want a little bit of color on my eyes, so I went and got the pinky one. I'm going to go in with this shade here and use that as a transition shade. So these shadows are very powdery and not very pigmented. Can you see that powder? Probably can't see that powder. <laughs> That's not really showing up as a transition. I'm just going to use that as an all over lid shade then. I'm going to go in with the next shade down here. They don't have names so I'm just going to go in with some of that and apply that in the crease and hopefully that one shows up. That's just coming right off and it's not really showing up. Um, what am I going to do? Okay, so I got some metallic cream eyeshadows. These aren't really shades that are going to go <laughs> with this palette here. I didn't really think that one through. Um, but I'm going to go in with some of these anyway and then see if I can incorporate some of these on the eye look. Since these are cream shadows, maybe if I apply some of this as a base, um, these eyeshadows will stick on a little bit better. So I'm going to go in with this one in the shade number two. It's called Skyla. That one's not too bad. I'm going to go in with my finger and just apply that all over the lid. shadows feel a little bit oily so I don't know if this shadow is going to move around or crease up and bunch up on my lid. We'll see what happens, eh? That's why we're trying it out. I'm going to go back in with some of that pinky shade and try and apply that over the top of that. Okay, that one's showing up a little bit better because it does have a cream base. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this darker shade here and just apply that to the outer part of my eye and trying to deepen up this look a little bit. showing up. Alright, so I feel like that's as deep as the color is going to go. I did try and build it up a fair bit. I'm going to finish off the other eye and then I'll be right back with the rest of the makeup. Okay, so now I have the other eye on. I already know that I don't like this palette. There's just no pigment, it's powdery, it's chalky. I would go a pass on that one. It's really only showing up on my eyes because I use this cream base eyeshadow on all over my lid. The cream base shadow itself also is not very pigmented. Uh, it's very oily and very soft. I guess it's great if you just wanted to do a quick little eye look. If you just wanted to use it as a base and then apply a more pigmented shadow over the top. Um, but I wouldn't really use it on its own. Okay, so that's that. Moving on. I'm going to clean up under the eyes and then we'll get on with the rest of the face. Okay, so I feel like my face needs a little bit of moisture right now, so I'm going to go in with this. I know it's a setting spray, but it's pore minimizing spray. I just want to check it out, see if this spray is any good. Okay, so that's a little bit aggressive. Um, it's not a very fine mist, but at least it smells all right. I'm going to let that settle in for a bit. So I've got the Longwear Matte Foundation. I got it in two shades because I wasn't sure which shade I would be. I think they had like four or five shades available, um, which sucks, honestly. Um, their darker one was probably just a little bit too dark for me. So I got these two so I could mix them if I had to. They did have more of a dewy finish foundation as well, but I thought maybe that might be a little bit too oily for me. So I got the hydrating primer and the illuminator instead to balance out this matte foundation if it turned out too matte for me. Does, does that make any sense? So I'm going to try one of these. I really like how they're in pumps. This one is number three in nude. Oh, it's a nice consistency. Oh, oh, no, it's too light for me. Um, let's try the other one. That one's nude. And number two is ivory, <laughs> which is even lighter. So I'm just going to have to use the darker one and maybe it'll oxidize. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's already oxidized. Okay, so it'll oxidize down to my shade. That applied a whole lot lighter just like 30 seconds ago. Okay, so that one's oxidized down to my shade. It's, it'll probably be a little bit orange for me, but I mean, that's what I've got to work with. 
So that's what we'll use. I feel like I need my hair out of my face. Okie dokie, let's go in with this oxidizing foundation. <laughs> Well, I'm glad now I didn't get a darker one because if this oxidizes down to my shade, then imagine what the darker one would have done. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit first and see if I can build it up if I need more coverage. Okay, so right off the bat, I feel like this foundation is probably a little bit orange for me. The primer underneath is really nice, but this foundation is already creasing. I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, so I'm gonna see if I can build this up. Building up the foundation is not too bad. It actually gives quite decent coverage. It feels a little tacky. I'll see if it settles down into the skin. I feel it's not really blending down into my skin though. Does that make any sense? I feel like it is just sitting on top and it it feels um, rather cakey, I must admit. It needs a fair bit of blending too, like a lot of blending. 2,000 years later. Okay, after a fair bit of blending, it actually looks nice, but it has the feeling and consistency of a foundation that I feel like wouldn't wear very nicely throughout the day. It's gonna be a greasy mess by the end of the day, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some concealer, the same one that I used to prime the eyes. I've just got this one shade. This is in the shade number two ivory. Just use that to conceal and highlight the face. This foundation isn't doing me any favors, honestly. I don't know if you can see, but it's really settling into my lines and accentuating my pores. Okay, so the concealer's not too bad. It is already creasing though a fair bit, so I'm gonna have to set that really quickly. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Studio Finish powder again and just really quickly set my under eyes. I'm gonna set the rest of my face too. Oh, damn. Can you see that? I look cakey and uh, not in a good way. I'm looking in the monitor here and it actually doesn't look too bad in the monitor, but if you look at my face close up, it looks like I am wearing a shit ton of makeup when I'm really not. It's really just a normal amount that I would put on my face on any other day and still look all right. Let's finish up this face. I've got some bronzer. Let's go in with a bit of that and warm up this look a little bit. Oh, oh, hoo hoo. Shake off the excess. Oh, that's an illuminating one. Okay, so <laughs> my face is poor central today, and honestly, my face doesn't usually look this bad. I like the illumination of that bronzer though, however, it is probably a little bit too much. Okay, so all this bronzer is doing for me is really letting me know where all the pores are on my face so you can count them. Okay, so that's not too bad, like under the neck and down the neck. So this would be probably nice as a all over body bronzer if you want a little bit of a shimmer and a bit of a glow, but I wouldn't use it as a, a normal contour bronzer because all that's doing is accentuating my pores. I'm gonna have to tone this down a little bit. Did you see how that just blended away? Imagine how much not long wear this is, if that's all it took for that to blend away. It actually, <laughs> I'm looking in the monitor, it actually looks quite nice in the monitor, but if you look close up at my skin, it kind of looks very uh, porous. It's even caking out there around my nose. Okay, now I don't know why I got this blush palette. They did have some individual blushes. Honestly, um, that's not a blush. That's not a blush, that's a blush. So we're just gonna go into some of that and warm up their cheeks.
Nope. Nah. I think um, I think this blush retired. Is that showing up a little bit? Uh, just a little bit. Semi-retired. That's not that bad. I'm more of a subtle blush type of girl. Building it up isn't quite that bad. But you did see I went ham. I wouldn't suggest being that aggressive with your makeup products normally, but this blush seems to be a cold-hearted bitch and it seems that it can take a bit of a pounding. <laughs> So the eyes are looking a little bit crazy. I'm just going to finish off the eyes. I'm going to go back into one of these shades, probably this one, and just run that all over the lower lash line. This eye look is actually quite pretty. I don't really mind it. Very soft and gentle. Okay, I'm not sure what this shadow is. It's not really doing much for me. Let's see if I can apply some of that there. Oh. No. See how my eyeshadow is already kind of rubbing off there, it's kind of patchy. So nothing like a little bit of eyeliner and mascara to completely transform a whole eye look. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go in with a bit of the liquid eyeliner in black. Ooh. Let's, see that. Let's hope this one doesn't smudge around. Okay, so this is very watery. I'm going to have to be careful not to open my eye until this is dry or it's going to smudge on my upper crease there. I'm not very accustomed to this type of applicator, but um, it's actually not that bad. So this formula is very, very watery. It's looking like it's drying down a little bit glossy. Not a huge fan of that. If you like this type of applicator though, it's actually not that hard to make a really sharp flick with this one. So this eyeliner is making my eyes itchy, and that's not a good sign. It's making my eyes water too. Okay, let's put on a bit of mascara, shall we? This one is their uh, Volumizing Mascara in Black. Let's hope this one's good. Oh, oh, I just put on my nose. Damn it. <laughs> this is not going well. It doesn't really smell like anything though. So that's really smudging my eyelid as well. At this point, I kind of really don't really care anymore. But I'm just gonna let that dry and then scrape it off later on. Okay, so this mascara is not half bad. The formula is quite runny. It's quite wet, if that makes any sense. But it's actually giving my lashes a fair bit of length. Not so much volume, probably more length than anything else. I do have a feeling though that this is mascara that's going to smudge off and flake and just like end up everywhere on my face. Let's just let that one dry. I'm going to go in with a bit of highlighter. This one is their powder highlighter in the shade Just Peachy. Let's have a bit of a swatch here. Okay, so it's very um, dusty and powdery like their eyeshadows. That's not a very strong highlight, but I'm gonna have to apply it on my face to see really what it's like. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's very chunky. This has a lot of flecks of glitter in it, and it's very, um, I don't know, the word is chunky. That's the only word that I can think of to describe this highlight. It's a nice shade though, but I'm just not feeling this highlighter. It's very um, poor amplifying. <laughs> can you see all that glitter on my face? <sighs> okay, moving on to lips. I got the lip liner and the shade Hanna can't talk and line my lips at the same time. I'm not a huge fan of um, pencil liners because you have to keep sharpening them and I don't like the smell of them to me. It just smells like straight up pencils. Okay, not a fan of the lip liner. It's not very creamy. It feels really hard. It feels like the pencils that I used to draw with when I was a kid. <laughs> That's just really hard. I'm just going to fill in my lips with this matte liquid lipstick that I got. This one's in the shade Turin. This applicator is hard. It's not, it's not very flexible. I'm really trying my best here, guys. Actually, I really like that color. <laughs> it's really pretty. The applicator I find really difficult to use and the formula is extremely watery. 
The formula feels like a really nice matte one that has a bit of oil in it so it's not crunchy if you know what I mean. It's drying down nice and matte but it's still flexible moving with my lips which is what I like in my liquid lipsticks. That one's actually quite nice. The applicator is a little bit hard to use but you can make that one work. So that's a plus. I have found something that I like. I did get some lipsticks as well but I'm not going to use them today because obviously I've got the liquid one but I'll do some swatches of those for you in a second. I did get a metallic lip gloss. This one is in the shade Crimson and I just want to apply some of that over the top of this liquid lipstick and see what it's like. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's really pretty. Again, the applicator is the same. Harsh. It feels harsh using this to apply. It smells like chocolates. I love this lip gloss. It's very wet though. I feel like that that's dripping down my lips. Oh, it is dripping. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, you know for the glosses, you're definitely going to want to wear a base for those because that's just juicy. I have a feeling that this could potentially be extremely messy to wear. It's extremely messy to apply. I feel like that can end up all over my teeth. Yeah, see? Yeah. Oh, that is so messy. <laughs> Uh, hmm. It's pretty though. It looks nice on camera, doesn't it? Alright, so that lip gloss was a bad idea. It's all over my teeth right now. But anyway, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna get this video done. What haven't I used? Oh, I'm gonna go in with some of this natural finish setting spray. Oh, it smells terrible. Oh, the initial spray smells like millipedes. Do you know what millipedes smell like? If, if you were like a little kid like me that grew up playing outside, we used to collect millipedes and keep them in a little jar and it would smell horrible. That's what the initial smell sprays like. That's weird. That is really weird. I'm going to go in with some of the pore minimizing spray as well because goodness knows I need it after this foundation. Okay, so I'm going to swatch these two lipsticks that I didn't end up using. Okay, this one's the long wear lipstick in the shade Gabriella. Okay, that feels really hard. I'm really pressing hard there. If you want a nice, creamy, bullet style lipstick, check out the NYX Cosmetic ones. Those are really, really nice. This one is in the shade Stella. That's hard one too, but it's showing up a lot more because Probably just because it's a darker color than uh, Gabriella is. It's a nice red one. But again, if you want a really nice bullet style creamy lipstick, then check out the NYX round creamy ones. Those ones are really, really good. Okay, so this is the finished look using Kmart makeup. We started out really well with the primer, the hydrating primer and the illuminator. Those ones came out really nice on the skin. You saw before my skin looked really nice and smooth and it felt really soft. For me, it sort of fell apart from there when I started out with the foundations. For one, the shade range isn't great. The foundation shade itself has settled down um, right close enough to my skin tone to look like it was actually matched to me, but it's still kind of tacky and you can just feel it. It feels really heavy. Um, the foundation itself was rather thick and it needed a fair bit of blending out to apply. So lucky I had the hydrating primer um, underneath, otherwise this one would feel a whole lot worse. I reckon sitting on my skin, it's already started to crease around my mouth, accentuate my pores. Not my favorite foundation, I'll say right off the bat. The concealer was... Not bad, not my favorite. It creased up a fair bit under my eyes. Okay, so, you know, that we, the concealer is bad. The concealer is bad. The powder was okay. It's already starting to crease up under the eyes. Under here, it feels like I didn't set under my eyes at all. Um, what else? The blush was okay. It was really hard to work with. You kind of had to really get in there with the blush, but that doesn't bother me because I like subtle blush. Um, if you like softer blushes, then definitely don't buy this one, but I mean, that one was alright. The bronzer, I would not use that on my face again. That's better as an all-over body shimmer. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. 
yeah, that bronzer is great as an all-over body warmer. And it has that really nice sheen to it. As you can see here, it has a really nice golden undertone. But if you were wanting to use that to contour your face, don't do it. It's, it's too shimmery. It'll accentuate your pores where you don't want them to be. Or, well, you don't want pores accentuated anywhere at all. And that's what I feel this overall line of makeup is doing for my face. It actually doesn't look that bad on camera. I'm going to check the footage later on and think, okay, that, no, that looks terrible. But honestly, right now, my eyes are starting to water as well. I don't know what's in these products, the eyeliner, the mascara, that's when, when I applied those, that's when my eyes started watering. The eyeliner was pretty good. It was very watery and um, if you are a beginner in makeup, I wouldn't recommend using that eyeliner or that mascara because both of them are very watery and will smudge like like a biatch. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't use them personally. I know they're cheap and that people who are starting out in makeup would be tempted to buy this sort of makeup, but honestly, I feel like if you buy this and you're starting out in makeup, you would just feel really discouraged and think that you're the one who sucks. No, you don't suck with makeup. You can just practice and get better. But this formula of makeup doesn't make it easier for you with your makeup application learning journey if that makes any sense so if you're starting out in makeup I, I would honestly just use essence makeup or you know like the cheaper brands like Maybelline or Revlon L'Oreal's a little bit higher up there in price but just try brands that are a little bit more you know well talked about and you kind of know better what kind of um, product that you're getting the highlighter <laughs> Uh, I did not like. It is straight up glitter on my face. It looks like um, I've got unicorn dandruff on my face and dandruff is never cute. The setting spray is alright. It kind of helped the makeup settle down but it still feels really sticky. Oh, th the lipsticks. The applicators are terrible. They're really harsh and hard to work with and with the formula being so watery on both of these, the applicator really doesn't help make things easier in application if that makes any sense but I did like how this one felt on the lips it wasn't hard or bunchy or crumbly so I will probably use that one again and I also really love this shade the lip gloss I probably won't go in as hard and heavy and thick next time because honestly it was just so wet <laughs> and watery that it just went everywhere so I would just go in a little by little next time with the lip gloss but I will definitely use that one again because that's really pretty I really like how that one looks on my lips oh what else was there oh the eyeshadows that's how bad they were I forgot to mention them the eyeshadows I would just completely give these a pass I would not buy them again and I'll probably just you know get rid of this one because there's just no pigment at all it doesn't really show up on the eyes it only did because I spent so much time trying to blend that up into my crease if you're a beginner out in makeup probably using these eyeshadows would only discourage you in trying to m apply makeup and it's just mm. the creamy eyeshadows I didn't use this one but I'm assuming that it's the same formula as this one they are not great on their own the formula is a little bit oily and it probably would move around if you just used it on its own, but it was alright as a base. It actually helped the shadows, those dusty shadows, stick a little bit better, but it actually feels kind of sticky. Um, it'll move around, and I know in the next couple hours it will have fade into nothingness, and there was just no point in putting it on in the first place. So there are other cream eyeshadow options out there, affordable ones like ColourPop, those are really good, or the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows, or the Maybelline Color Tattoo Creamy Eyeshadows, those are all really great. They're probably a little bit more expensive, but at the same time, you get good use out of them, because they actually work. Oh, the brown one. The brown powder I actually liked. I'll probably end up using that one again. Setting sprays, they're a bit harsh. I will not use the one that smells like a millipedes again. I'll be getting rid of that one. The smell's gone now, but I might even just use that one as like when I'm trying to like wet a makeup brush to apply shadows a little bit more uh, pigmented on my eyes, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that's, that's all of it, guys.
that's all the makeup. This is the finished look using all Kmart makeup. I wouldn't use some of these products again. I feel like I need to take off my makeup because it's not doing any favors for my skin. It's accentuating my pores, fine lines. Anyway, I already said all that. If you guys did enjoy this video and you found it informative and helps you in your decision of whether or not you are going to go purchase Kmart makeup, Honestly, these products are not so incredibly terrible that you can't use them. I mean, obviously I made a look and I made it work. I actually don't think it looks half bad. Uh, if you disagree, you feel free to disagree, that's okay. But it just goes to show that no matter how cheap these products, this is probably the cheapest that you will get here in Australia anyway. Um, it just goes to show that you can make them work. You can still create a makeup look. But what I'm just trying to say is that you can find still cheap and affordable makeup, but with better quality. So if you wanted to still buy this makeup and try it out for yourself, go for it. I mean, they're, they're affordable. You're not really losing a whole lot of money buying these and trying them out. And you can still make them work, but yeah, you can find better makeup out there. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. That's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you see other future videos that I come out with, other makeup reviews, makeup product reviews. Follow me on all my other social media, which is also Life as Kikai, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, what's up, you guys? <coughs> Specifically, their brand. O O X O X O and O X X an illuminator. Oh no, <laughs> that's a highlight. No. Okay, so we're off to a good start. And it looks like this one's. <gasps> hmm. That's got fluff all over it. Oh, come on, Kmart. <sighs> so dusty. Okay.